All right, you've seen the clock that tells time to the quarter past, but what about clocks and telling time to the five minutes? Well, in this tutorial, we'll extend the Makey Makey paper plate clock to use two Makey Makeys so that we can tell time in five minute intervals. In part two, we'll use the text to speech scratch extension so we can get our clock to actually say what the time is. The time is 4.30. All this coming your way. Hello world, Surfing Scratcher here, teacher, surfer, programmer, and on this channel, I make how-to coding videos for curious learners and educators just like you. If you're digging this content, then hit that subscribe button down in the bottom corner to stay in the loop. And if you're an educator, then consider joining the Surfing Scratcher mailing list. That's where I'll send news and resources straight to your inbox. But let's go check out the materials that you'll need for this project. You'll need a paper plate, some extra cardboard, some paper fasteners or split pins, some masking tape, it's pretty handy to have a geometry kit, specifically a protractor and a 60 degree triangle. Some extra alligator cables, some jumper cables. You'll need two makey makeys for this project. Graphite pencil, box cutter, and some conductive materials like aluminium foil or copper tape. I've organized all these materials on a kit on kit.co. You can find a link in the description. But let's get stuck into it. All right, the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is draw some segments for our clock. To go ahead and do this, if you've got it handy, you can either use a protractor and go around and measure these out. If you don't have a protractor, you can go ahead and use this uh, 30 degree and 60 degree ruler and 90 degrees here for right angle, of course. And you can go down and you can measure out these segments. So you can see, there we go, right from the center, I've got 30 degrees measured out. If that fails, you can also use a piece of paper I've got a card in the top corner right now that shows you how to create a 30 degree angle using a piece of paper. That'll result in something like this and you can use this piece of paper to create your segments. It's important that we use the back of the paper plate or the side that you don't want to show because on the other side that's where we want to display our clock. We want to keep all these lines hidden. Use your preferred instrument to go and create these line segments now. There we yeah. go, I've gone and created my 12 segments. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Each segment is 30 degrees, and that'll be useful to know when we get into our scratch project a little later. Now that we've created our segments, we need to go off and create our hand. So I've got a minute hand and an hour hand here. Yeah, they're a little bit disproportionately sized, but that's okay. The way I created these is I just got a little bit of excess cardboard, and I got my scissors, and I just chopped to create a bit of an arrow effect, a little bit on the inside there. So you've got your arrow, then I just got some aluminium foil and I wrapped my arrow in this foil. I did that for both. Now, the reason I wrapped them in aluminium foil is we're going to connect them to the center through a split pin, through a split pin. And on this side, we will connect both of these hands to the ground of the Makey Makey. So our hands will be the ground and all the buttons for the minutes and sorry, all the buttons for the hours on the inside and the minutes on the outside, they will be assigned to keys on the Makey Makey. Our hour hand is gonna go on the bottom and our minute hand is going on the top there. So you might just wanna design yours so you can still see your hour hand there because you can't really see my one there, unfortunately. One other thing to note is on my minute hand is I've also put some masking tape on the bottom and that's so it doesn't connect with any of the minute hand slip pins. You'll see what I mean a little bit down the track. Next thing we want to do is measure the length of the hand here. So the length of my hand is nine centimeters. So that's going to tell me that around about eight and a half centimeters, I want to be placing a split pin. You don't even need to measure this. You could really just eyeball it, but if you want to get nice and precise, then you can go ahead and measure it. So I know that I'm going to be putting a split pin there and you just go around all your segments and you do that. I recommend not eyeballing it because you'll probably end up a little bit short. Now that you've gone ahead and created all these marks, I recommend getting a box cutter and just creating some small cuts so you'll be able to insert the split pins. The split pins can be a little bit tricky to get them through and there's quite a few here. Okay, I've gone ahead and placed all the holes in the markers there. The next thing you want to do 
is flip over your clock, paper face clock here, and you want to go insert split pins in all these holes that you've just created. So you want to do that around the outside for the minutes and on the inside for the hours as well. All right, so you can see here around the outside, I've got my minutes split pins and on the inside, I've got my hours. The idea is that our hands will be connected to the ground. They should be able to touch the relevant button when we move them along. The idea with the masking tape on the minute hand is that when it touches an hour hand split pin, it won't be conductive because the masking tape will be blocking it. That's the theory, we'll see how it goes. Next up, let's get that box cutter back out. And we need to create a little cut here in the center so we can thread our hands through. You'll also need to create little cuts on the hands. Okay, so I'm just gonna get the split pin and thread it through the minute hand first, just like that. And I'm gonna get the hour hand and thread the split pin through that. And take those two and thread them through just like that. There you have it. It's gonna be a little bit tight to turn when you first do this, but once you start to wriggle them around for a little bit, they'll start to loosen up. It's gonna be pretty hard to see, but if you find that there is a bit of a gap forming, just put some more foil around the top and that should solve your problem. So you see this one's just touching, a little bit far away. If you find that your hands are just not big enough, you can easily go and create some more that will be a little bit longer. But before I move on, the next thing I'm gonna do is just jump over to Scratch quickly and just test it out to see if this works. Okay, so if I just flip over the clock here, you'll see that I've got this green cord. I'll bring in the Makey Makey. I've got the green cord. I've got the green cable attached to the ground and I've got the white cable attached to our minute hand, and it's gonna be at 12 o'clock. I've just made a little mark here to signify 12 o'clock, and it doesn't look like it on this side, but this is actually uh, where the three hour mark will be, and I've got that signified here with the black cable for the right arrow. So if I flip this over now, you'll see I've got my little mark up here for 12 o'clock, and this is where our third hour will be. Over in Scratch, I've hooked this up for our up arrow to be connected to zero minutes or 60 minutes, whichever way you like to look at it. And our right arrow is connected up to three o'clock. So when I move the hour hand over the three, we'll get a nice guitar sound. When I move the minute hand over the 12, we'll get a cat meowing. And that's cool. Now, final test out would be to move over, bring this minute hand across now and remember, we put the masking tape on the bottom of it, so I'm hoping that when we move over this three here, we shouldn't play that guitar sound. And that's working beautifully. So we've created an insulator there, so our minute hand won't affect the hour buttons. So that's exactly what we want. By far the hardest part of this project is figuring out how to connect all your cables to the back of this. I just want to talk a little bit about the orientation of the clock here. So you'll see that I've got a little mark here at the top, and this is 12 o'clock. Now, if the clock was flipped over, we'd operate clockwise. So one o'clock would be here, two, and so on and so forth. But because the clock is back to front, we have to work anti-clockwise. So this is where one will be, this is where two will be, this is where three will be. So when you're setting up your wiring, just keep this in mind, that you're working anti-clockwise on the back. I just want to talk a little bit about how I've gone about arranging all the cables here behind the clock because it's quite gnarly. I got inspired by Jackie Tan's class when she posted about the Makey Makey Operation video and her group of learners were absolutely pumped with how they went about their wiring. So what I've tried to do here is I've tried to color code my cables in groups. So on the inside I've got my hours and on the outside I've got my minutes. You'll see here I've got the mark at the top, this just signifies 12 o'clock. So if we look on the inside of the hours, you'll see that my first four slots are green cables. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've fastened them all to the split pins and then I've got a bit of masking tape. So I've got a bit of masking tape here and I just uh, group them up. But it doesn't stop there. I'm just going to zoom in to these cables here. Okay, so I've just got a couple of these cables close up now. And you'll notice that at the end of them, I've also just got a little bit of masking tape here to signify which hour that it's referring to. So this particular cable is referring to the second hour. Here is the third hour, I made a little bit of a blue there. There's my first hour, and there's my 12th hour. So this is the cable that's referring to 12 o'clock. I went ahead and did that for all the minutes and the hours, and I tried to arrange them as best as I could. To create one of these labels, you'll need a little bit of masking tape, 
then you can grab your alligator cable and all I do is just flip it upside down and stick it on that way. So if I really wanted to, I could write ground for this one and then I could fasten this cable to the ground. I've also just got a bit of paper here and I put the numbers 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to signify all the segments around the clock. And I've just got here hours in a column and minutes in a column. And what I'm gonna need to do is associate all the buttons here of the Makey Makey with these hours and these minutes. So I've just drawn up a little table here to help codify that. And I've just got all the colors of the cables entered in here. So 12, 1, 2, 3 mean the green cables for the hours. There's no perfect way to do this. It's up to you to come up with your system. But I highly recommend that you do come up with some sort of system because when we get to connecting these, it's gonna get mega confusing. Couple of other things, I'll have a worksheet available down in the description that you can go ahead and check out so you don't have to draw this up. But hey, you could just as easily draw it up as well. Hey, do you eat pizza? I also recommend maybe getting a pizza box because this is a really cool solution to hide all the wiring. You could cut out a circle here and place your paper clock on top. And then inside the paper box is where you could hide all your wiring. And then it's all nice and neat and compact in one box. The next thing that we need to do is remap these keys that are on both Makey Makeys so that we can point them to key presses in Scratch. There's a card in the top corner coming your way to jump you straight onto that video. It's time for a scratchy question. Now right at the start of the video, I used a 30, 60, 90 triangle to create my clock segments. I want you to tell me why I used 30 degrees and not something else. Use maths if you can to prove it. Post your answer in the comment section down below. Hey, thanks for checking out this Makey Makey project on clocks and telling time to the five minutes. If you're digging this content, then smash that like button. And if you're an educator, consider joining the Surfing Scratcher mailing list. The link below in the description. But until then, I'm off to go find a wave. I'll catch you in part two.